This is my coffee so far. <laughs> Cafe latte. And they're pretty good. But good morning and welcome to my floss tube. I'm Dawn or Fairy Rose, whichever one you want to call me. I really miss my coffee, but I gotta get this down first. <sighs> when I get my protein in, I do better on the weight loss. When I can actually exercise, I can do better on weight loss. <sighs> but anyway, floss tube is where I talk about my cross stitching, crocheting, quilting, whatever. My stitchy crafts. And um, yeah. <laughs> How do y'all like my hat? I've got a purple one, and I've got Tinkerbell one, and I've got a regular Santa hat. And we put them all together when we packed up all the Christmas last year. And this is the only one that was in the box. And it wasn't like how we packed it, so we don't know what happened. Um, because I always wrap up all the ornaments and at least the time they were all dumped in you know? and it's like wait i don't do that they're glass so i don't know what happened but i'll find my other hat sooner or later but right now i got my little elfie hat um weight loss i'm down to 250 so i've lost 16 pounds and I'm almost 249 because I'm at 250.1 sorry I talk with my hands um <laughs> I'm at 250.1 so hopefully before the end of the week I will be under 250 I just gotta get down to 217 and then I can start having surgeries for my knees. <sighs> that will be two surgeries. But right now, it keeps raining and the cold keeps coming in. And I can't bend one of my knees. It just hurts way too bad. So I'm going to be doing a lot of sitting and no exercising today. But that gives me plenty of time for cross stitching. So, and that's what y'all were here for. I only worked on two projects last week because I'm trying to get done some of the Christmas that I have that I need done before Christmas. <coughs> and I'm kind of enjoying just working on a few projects at a time. I do need to get back to my haunted house because it has to be, that's the Ryan Robin I'm going to be doing next year. And it has to be to the next person by February 1st. So I got to get the house done and I'm on the roof. Um, I need to at least get the border of the rooms done. And then if I get the rest of the roof done, that's, that's a plus. But anyway, so this one is called Sailing. What's that one? Now, my son loves boats and ships. He actually said he wanted sailboats. And I, I knew I had this pattern and I showed it to him and he said, oh, I like that. So I did it. But. I hated the colors. It's all in browns. Ugh. I don't think he has anything brown in his his house at all. He's got lots of black and grays. Um, he's one that wants a black and gray quilt. Um, so I changed the colors. And oh, I think I. Were 
So I changed the colors to grays and blues. And this is where I was Monday. Are y'all ready to see this? Ah, get back in there. I'm done. I'm done. Now I put my initials right there, kind of like the name of the boat. I put that charm there just because I liked it. And there's the anchor and I put a little chain going down. I did all the lettering in the blue that's in the boat and the rest is done in grays. And I really like it. This is done on 18 count. It's a Fortnite fabric. Roundup, maybe? Or choose me, pick me, choose me. I cannot remember, but that is it. I've already got the frame for it. And I will be framing it myself. But I'm so happy with it. <coughs> now, there is one more pattern I want to do in this one. Oh, where are you? You're so cute. Uh, and then I will be giving... Make that two patterns. Okay. Then I will be giving this book magazine away okay let's see it's called snow people seasons but ain't they cute so i want to do this one which it's half the size as the ship <coughs> okay now i want to do that one and then i want to do Okay, now, this one. And I wanna make little jewelry boxes for my granddaughters, but I wanna do different patterns on all of them. See, there's another one, but I wanna do this one for all of them and put their initials in the center instead of the check box. So, those are very small. And then I'll be giving away this book. Now, this magazine, it's from 2002. I bought it brand new. <laughs> and this is the first time I had the subscription to it. So, and now I like the subscriptions that are electronic PDFs so that I don't have so much paper. <coughs> okay, then, let me get that out. I started on Deja's, which is Seize the Day. And let me show you. Okay, come on, picture. Where are you? It's another one from a magazine. Oh, I do like to be beside the seashore, seaside. Yeah. She loves living at the beach, but she hates going to the beach. <laughs> but she loves living there because the air is fresher and everything so this is where i was very wimpy start but this is the bottom of the whip this is how wide it is i'm going to get this done 
this week. I plant, there's four houses here. And I've got the first one done, got this one done. There's only one more color in this one. Oh, wait, no. There's, this goes right over here too. And then there's one color. Then I've got the other two houses. I wanna get this row done and the border done. So, that's the plan for this week. I probably will take a break at least one day and work on the haunted house just because I need a break <laughs> from just gifts. But I've got a decent start now, a lot better than what it was. And I will get this done before Christmas, even if I have to stay up to two and three o'clock in the morning some mornings. Yeah, but it's only got three colors in it. And I thought about doing color completion, but then I was like, no, because I wanna see finished parts of it. If I get this band done, I'm gonna be so happy. So happy. <coughs> okay. I think I'm trying to get sick and I don't mean to. All right. So, floss tubers. I'm way behind in watching my floss tubers because everybody's doing the advent and um, the 12 days of Christmas and all that. So, I'm slowly getting caught up. And the three I'm gonna mention this week, one is new to me, but the other two I watched for a while and I love watching them. Um, the one that's new for me is Linda from Stitching in Chaos. She does Hades. You know I love me some Hades. I love some of her works, but I can relate to her because she's also trying to lose weight. And I just enjoy her videos. So go check her out. Then uh, Janelle at Coffee, Wine, and Stitchy Time. She's another one of my favorites. Uh, I won my stitching t-shirt from her. And she's hilarious. I love watching her. And she's she's got a cute little dog. And right now she's doing so many advents. And she opened one and the box was empty. I'm sorry, I would have been pissed. Okay. <laughs> but she handled it nicely. But she is just so funny. <laughs> and then another one that I'm loving to watch right now is Nicola from Bumble Stitches. She has a dog at the end, and she has this dog named Alfie. Oh my God, I love that dog. <laughs> he, he's so cute. And you should see him trying to get the treat, and he's zooming all, all around. So check all three of them out. They're, they're all good ones to watch. And um, Bumble Stitches also does a lot of quilting. So check them out. Now... I don't have much of a haul, and most of it was from gift cards that I got from Christmas, and yes, I've already spent them, but <laughs> that's okay. I love me some Nerge hoops, so I got me a set of three because I've only got two, and I've had my two for two years. So, and like when I'm working on this one, but I need a break, I don't want to take it out. Now, if I'm going to leave it in for longer than a, oh, two weeks, I won't take it. I mean, I will take it out. But I got me some new ones. Then from 
Adsin Media, where I've got Mermaid of the Pearls from last time. She had a couple more that I wanted. And now I cannot get them out. Okay. You know what? I'm cutting you. <laughs> there. So she had two more out of print that I wanted. Another mermaid. Deepest love. And Ada's the garden fairy. You know I have to have all the, the fairies. So I'm slowly working. Now, if I understood her right, she's got more copies of these. And they're reasonably priced. So if these are on your wish list, and they are out of print, and they're brand new, go check her out. I'll have the link below. And that's all my spending. <laughs> that's it. Uh, yeah. Now, my unicorn charts right now, it's two. And it's Maidens of the Seasons 1 and 2. I want want them both. I want to buy. But if anybody has them in willing to loan it to me, I will work on it and that be it. That's all I'm going to be working on. But yeah, I really really want to find those at a decent price. And I either, when I do see them, I either don't have the money or they're way too, too high for me. Somebody else might can afford that, but I can't. But these, yeah. Some of the prices on those I've seen was more than what I paid for all three of these. Oh yeah, I think she has more of this one too. So, mm -mm. <sighs> mm, I really want them. But those are my unicorns. Okay, now. Oh yeah, this is December 5th. And season two, episode 50. <laughs> now. In episode 49, I did a giveaway. <coughs> and one had five people try, and one had four people try. So there's a high chance for everyone. And one was the romance of Paula Vaughn. If I remember, I bought this new can't remember but beautiful pics so I've got the wheel up let's see let's see who wins C J stitches. So, C J, send me your. Oh, what did you do? Okay, no. Send me. Uh oh. <laughs> send me your address. Um, I will put my email down below. It's fairy, F-A-I-R-E, underscore rose, at yahoo.com. And I will send me your address, and I will get this in the mail for you. Now, for the PDF. Let's 
see who wins. Teresa Smith. Wait. Yeah, Teresa Smith. So, email me with the PDF you would like and from which store. So, oh, and somebody said on their comment, and I forget who, that they would get the Haunted Library for their PDF. I did buy that this time. And I bought it, and the Steadfast Stitcher and me are both going to start it together January 29th, I think is a Sunday. And so now I got down the fabric. I want it, I think I want it in grays and spooky, but I don't know how dark I want the fabric or if I want it to be a light gray with little bits of blue in it. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. And about contest in general. I win a lot, okay? I really do. I won three contests last week. The reason I won is I entered. If it is something I would like having, I enter the contest. If it's something I don't want, I don't enter. If you see something that you like, enter the contest. It takes two seconds. It took a while for me to get that through Lisa's head. And then she, she did. And then she's like, I think this is a gimmick, but it don't look like a gimmick. But it says I won $1,000 in gift cards. And I looked at the email and she actually won $1,000 in gas gift cards. She, I've also won cameras. I've, I've won iPads, Kindles, food, all kinds of stuff. Cross stitch stuff. But you have to enter it to win. Now, she keeps telling me to play the lottery. I played the lottery. I won $3 here, $7 there. Nothing big. And she, she's always getting scratch-offs. Every time she gets a scratch-off, she wins something. A dollar or more. Nothing over 20 yet. Not going with me. Oh, it's me, baby. It's me, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It was me knocking on wood. <laughs> but um, when I do the scratch-offs, I don't win nothing. Nothing at all. So, there's a lot of floss tubers that do contest. Interim. Interim. The prizes normally are not big, and that's okay. It's just for fun, you know? I love winning patterns. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do. Because I love stitching them. That's it for today. Uh, my winner, please. And let's see. It was CJ Stitches and Teresa Smith. Email me. Okay. I will make sure my email is down below. Email me so you can give me your info. Well, I hope everyone has a blessed day. And I will see you next week.